I'm a spine surgeon working in Dallas, Texas, the same city I was born and raised in, met my wife in, and raised my kids in. This is my community. This is an inside look on a day with a spine surgeon. I start the day getting my favorite pair of socks. This is Brandy. She's my medical scribe and all my socks. I then get my scrubs and I start to head out the door. It's an operative day, so when I get to my car, I put on my work boots, put my dress shoes back in the car. I'll get back to those. Check the time, 5.30. It's good for an OR day. Get the music ready, drive into work, and then I get there. Key part, making sure I look good in the elevator. Go check on some patients from the night before. They look good. Get my coffee ready. First one there, so I have to turn on the coffee machine. Again, check to make sure my brandy socks are on. From there, I get ready for the day. Give myself a thumbs up and go into the OR. I review the cases. This first one's a pars fracture, L4, L5, has spondy. I'm going to stabilize this area. I'll show you more on that later. I do a lot of minimally invasive surgery, so I want to make sure that I have all the right tools to keep my incisions small and recovery fast. I'll scrub them for my surgery, and from there we get to work. Some surgeries are just 45 minutes. Others could be 10 hours. It just depends on the pathology. When I'm done, check x-rays. I break scrubs. Then I can do a couple things. I go down the halls, I go see some awards that some of our favorite staff members are getting, then I'll go check in patients for the next case, go meet their family members. From there, I go again, check the tools for the next case, I do the next most important thing, make sure we have the right music, I love Garrick's, I love EDM. I have another two surgeries after that, and now I'm going to take you through what I did today. The first patient had a pars fracture, had bone-on-bone -bone slippage, I did an A-lift with percutaneous fixation. The next patient had two big disc herniations, I did a two-level disc replacement in the neck, the last patient had spondylolisthesis. I did an A-lift, perk screws in the back, also L4, L5. From there, I go around on my post-operative patients, go check on them, let them know how great I did. I go to my car, walk over to clinic, drive over to clinic, put my stuff in the bag. The clinic's a nice, beautiful building, very happy about that. Go see some patients here. Not a full day, it's just kind of half-day afternoon clinic. We'll go see some patients. I see one of my favorite patients. She let me do this video. Very happy with her outcome. Gives me a big hug, makes me happy. From there, get in my car, go do something else that makes me happy, I go home. I see my kids, going to my kids' soccer game tonight. My five and a half year old does great. My two year old does a great job watching him. After that, it's bath time. We then play in our bedroom for a little bit. After that, I'll watch the stars, play off hockey, nothing better than that. And after all that, it's off to bed. Lights off, usually around 10, 30, 11. Doctors are kind of trained not to need much sleep. 